Four space tourists are back on Earth following a three and a half day trip of a lifetime. They splashed down just off the coast of Oceanside this morning. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal joins us live from Oceanside. Kelly, this is pretty incredible. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there were a lot of people here in Oceanside who heard the loud boom, but a lot of them didn't know what it was as SpaceX's Dragon rocket uh, re-entered the Earth's orbit and splashed down here off the coast of Oceanside. I thought it was like a whale uh, over there, like uh, at the pier, everybody was looking out and they were looking for the whale. And I guess I didn't know this was a SpaceX thing. But. And you could see that the main parachutes have deployed. They are expanding. Once they're fully expanded, they are going to slow the vehicle down all the way to about 16 miles per hour, right in time for splashing down into the Pacific Ocean today. <laughs> So you see the splashdown, which happened at 919 this morning. Uh, the four people on board are from all different parts of the world. Cryptocurrency billionaire Chun Wang fl financed this flight and led this mission, which launched late Monday from Florida. Now, the crew orbited the Earth's poles. It conducted 22 research studies designed to help advance humanity's capabilities for long-duration space exploration and the understanding of human health in space. They took the first X-ray in space. Uh, they grew mushrooms and microgravity. Uh, we do have some incredible video taken on board where you can see Earth out of one of the windows. Uh, people we talked to today just amazed that space travel is happening for tourists. Love it. Uh, yeah. Did you go up on one of these flights? 100%. 100%. 110%. Yeah. I think it's very interesting. It's unique. I think it's um, definitely Ain't exploring that. different horizons. I don't know if I would be uh, signing up for it, but by the time they're older, I'm sure... Maybe more of a regular thing. And we also have video of the crew exiting the capsule today. All look to be in good spirits. There were a lot of smiles, waves, uh, which makes sense considering the journey they were just on. So back out here live, you can imagine the kinds of stories they're going to have to tell all of their friends and families. Uh, it, truly a once in a lifetime trip. And it's pretty exciting and interesting to think about. We're now in this next chapter of space travel. Carlo and Marcella. Kelly, it is so cool. I mean, it is just mind boggling to think that there's space travel now. What did the people who you talked to out there say today? Were they surprised also by the noise this morning? Carlo and I both heard it at our respective homes. <laughs> uh, do we know how much this flight costs? There's so many questions as it becomes a reality. Yeah, as for the price tag on this, Wang declined to say exactly how much it costs for this three and a half day trip. But I imagine you and I are not going to be able to afford <laughs> something like this anytime soon. Uh, as for people who heard the noise, uh, yes, they were startled by it. Uh, one woman told me she thought it was a small earthquake. Uh, but overall, everyone just excited for this. Uh, another woman said, you know, maybe by the time my grandkids are getting older, it'll just be like a day trip. Like maybe you go for a field trip. You head up to space, you come wow. back down and uh, your parents sign up mission slip <laughs> saying it's okay to go to space. Yeah, multiple <laughs> private companies now taking people to space. Yeah. Who would have thunk it just like 20 years ago? Kelly Hassanel reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.